we unlock dimensions. You are destined for power and glory. Kind of infirmity. It is because a soul is suffering from a condition. Today, as the Lord frees your soul from different prisons where your soul has been trapped, we thunder. Some of you wives, you are not supposed to leave the marriage. You are supposed to stay and intercede and disarm the altar. And people will come to you and you shall recover all that which God destined for you. The principle of consecration is centered on hearts of men turning to God. And the first way of turning to God is confession. When you are appointed in an office that requires responsibility, you swear. You swear before the president or the judge, you swear. Swearing is a confession. The president will swear. President Yalaira. Members of parliament will swear. Our parliament in Yalaira. Ministers swear. Baba minister na Yalaira. Judges swear. Our members in Yalaira. They swear by the law of the land. Ngera ba kuzesa eteka edio guangedio. That's confession. Oko kwe kuatula. When you get married. Bofumbirwa. On your wedding day. You swear. That's confession. There are professionals, professions. Waliwoba professionals. There are professions. Waliwo professions. Where you just graduate and go and work. But the other there are professions. Nayate waliwo where after school on the day of graduation you swear you know those professions other people just get their degrees and leave but there's a profession there are some professions where on graduation day you take a vow you swear a vow and there, there's a profession after going to school you go to a place where you're taught practice and you are admitted in that practice and you swear it's a confession others just get their degrees and go but these professions where lives will be involved. Like a lawyer. One mistake can cost someone's life. Like a doctor. One error cost a life. And what is common in these professions? What is common in those, prof those professions where they swear? Money Sente. is not part of the comfort. Money is not part of the deal. What it means that you will, you will not be serving for money. You will not say, I will not represent you because you have not paid. 
I will not treat you because you not paid. By the, did you know? It's only lawyers and doctors that are not permitted to advertise their services. You're not allowed to go in the papers or you go, you put billboards that the best lawyer in town is here. Even doctors. Hmm? Do you know that? Do you know that? You don't know that? You don't know that? You know it. Money is not part of the discussion. Because hmm? one day I asked someone, I said, now why are you disturbing us with all these things if money is not involved? Maybe some of you may not know that I studied law somehow <laughs> the day you discover the, many of the trades I do you will be shocked how can an engineer struggle study law for engineers, you know what I'm talking about. You have to study law. You will need it. And one of the courses is about law. When you are studying engineering. Otherwise, you will be in prison one day. If you don't understand law and you are an engineer. You find yourself, if you can't read some legal things. And interpret how will you understand contracts as an engineer if you don't study law? Or you want some lawyers who don't understand you know, engineering to interpret to you what the contract means? Because you need to combine both. What does it mean? Because for example, some, some lawyers, if you ask them, what is a BOQ? They don't understand it. <laughs> and you tell them now to sign to and interpret you the contract. That language you don't understand. So I learned that part of the discussion in law has nothing to do how much I will get. It's the same in medicine. In surgery. The business of how much I will get is not there. That's why they make you swear a vow. It's about lives. It's about what? I, I, I've not been in church, this church, church land long enough to know if people in church swear or someone just buys a microphone and start a ministry. I have not been here long enough to know the commitment of a pastor. That if I ask you for the offering to be delivered, and you're not delivered. What happens? What happens? Am I allowed to sue you? Or oh, ask to ask back my money. Or ask back my money. 
I was telling Pastor Henry recently that I need to go to Parliament and propose something about, about schools and teachers. If I pay you school fees, and I give you my child and you tell my child has failed and you don't give me back my money <laughs> how do you tell me they failed when I, when I paid you we need a contract the school and the parent to sign a contract and they have clear terms Clear terms. If you are a head teacher and your 70% of your students fail the final exams, you can't tell me 70% are foolish. You either refund our money or we take you to prison. You can't. I give you my son university, university. I pay money three years and you give them a pass degree. pass degree you have to refund my money there must be a contract between the parent and the school system the next time my child comes with, with, with the failure results I will, will sue the minister of education. In, I will go to court. International criminal court. <laughs> Not even Uganda. And I sue the minister of education. Who appointed teachers? The minister of education. Minister. In Uganda. Get ready. My lawyers will serve you. Because if you tell me Bongamba. nationwide there was failure what's the minister doing? Not only resign but she must be taken to prison. Thank God I'm not the president. <laughs> there must be commitment. The same with us pastors. Hello? Hello. If I promise you give and you'll be delivered and you're not delivered what happens? I just keep promising I just keep promising or you can say pastor ah. I have not been delivered because they were clear terms <laughs> But most of you, because you, there is no personal deliverance plan, so you don't have terms to demand your money back. There, was not, there were no terms. You didn't sit down and agree on the process. You didn't agree what deliverance means. For the man to say, I'm sorry, I can't offer that. Try the pastor next door. <laughs> eh? Try the pastor next door. That's the reason most of you want to see me I avoid you that's the reason because I don't want you to add me on the list of pastors who have prayed for you and you're not delivered because you have a list you went to Nigeria. Nigeria. You went to Ghana. You went to Zambia. You went to this way. You went to that way. And now you want me to add me on your credentials. <laughs> That's why I don't. Unless we can sit down and agree on the terms. What do you want? What are your expectations? What do I demand from you? 
will do this and this and this I will do this and this and this and this you will do A, B, C, D. Because you demand me to deliver you. But you remain in your adultery. And then you say, I did not deliver you. But even the day you came for prayer, you were fornicating. Even when you travel to Uganda for deliverance, you fornicated. In your hotel. And then you accuse me of not delivering you. Are you getting me? Even when you came for consecration, you cheated the one who's selling food. And then you say, Pastor, did not deliver me. You didn't know your part. So we need, we need a clear plan. One day I was fasting for a sister. Three days dry. For her deliverance. We had agreed to fast. I called her on the third day. The third day. Said, sister, we are meeting for prayer. Said, eh, eh. I am out for dinner. I said, which dinner we are fasting? He said, Pastor, it's our workplace. We have we had cocktail, whatever. And I said, You had what? She said cocktail. <laughs> I said, I didn't know that cocks have tails. <laughs> said, No, it's a cocktail party. Tales of cocks. <laughs> Don't laugh. That's where I'm coming from. <laughs> that they serve tales of cocks. She said, no. It's a party. party. I said, no, but we were fasting dry. Said, by, the past, by the way, I did not fast. <laughs> then I said, and I wanted to myself, why was I hungry? This girl is busy eating tails of cocks. And now I'm fasting for her. <laughs> So, she has not done her part. Amen. Now, the same with God. You, you do your part. He will do his part. And many people, we want someone to perform a, a magic on us. Hmm? Man of God here. Don't kill yourself for people. You are not the first man they've been, they've been to. Those people they've been on every altar you Baba know. You. Kuchoto. Godly and ungodly. They've been to every prophet, even Baba those you don't know. Don't kill yourself for them. Are you listening? The, the best way for people to defile you and destroy your ministry is counseling. Counseling defiles a man of God. Counseling, They tell you all their few things. By the time you leave the office, you have a spirit of lust. Because they've been telling about their sexual things. <laughs> Some of them even want to show you. <laughs> Man of God, see here. It scratched me here. <laughs> and that one goes out. Two hours. Another one comes. All them things. 
You know, man of God, my husband does not do this. Does not do this. I wish God had given me a man like you. Can you imagine? They're all like me. Then he stands up, walks around your house, and you're counseling. You are watching all that. Even no be raba. By the time you leave the first, the third session. Wo bi. Wo mali ro muto oksato. And she say, man of God. Now I'm saying I can't. Will I see you even tomorrow? In chance, J. What are you looking for? <laughs> so men of God and women of God <laughs> forget the business of counseling. Listen to me everyone. <laughs> My office is not for deliverance. <laughs> if you are not delivered here <laughs> I don't have anything to do for you. <laughs> The anointing to deliver is here. Not in the corridor where you meet me. What are you looking for? Why do you want to see me alone? Who sent you? I'm serious. This must break in the church. I know two ways that witches defile you. One through counseling. They're inviting into their spirits. Two receiving money from you. Let me tell you. Most people you call beggars are agents of witches. I was a witch, I know it. Go to church. To pretend to be a beggar. Collect money from many. Bring it to me. I take it to a cemetery. Most of the money you give the people who beg you that they need help. They have been sent by witches. Collect money from you. They take them on their shrines. Even some are here. They have contacted you. You know, I'm an orphan. You know, all they needed to receive money from your and hand. And report to their altar. Yes. You know some of you are so good. That you don't discern. My sister, I don't have lunch. I'm dying. And they told him. Go to those barokole. Get the money from their hands. Bring them here. I was a witch. I know what I'm talking about. So those you call beggars. Were our agents on the street. To collect destinies. To collect destinies. They collect destinies every day. And they take to the senior witch and they go to the cemetery they bury all your money in the cemetery because you got your money and gave it to them and I want to warn you when you are here I want to warn you. You didn't come for charity here. You came for consecration. Yes. You came for what? You didn't come to beg here. You came to wait upon the Lord. Watch who, where you put your money. I know altars. I know churches. Where people give their offerings. And the money is taken. Burnt. And the ashes scattered in the Nile. I know them. I know what I was doing. I know what pastors were doing. To keep people in poverty. And then they, they go and serve that man to the demon in the water. 
and you discover that you get money and you lose it. And you say, but I give. No, I buy you. Which altar do you put your money on? On which altar are you putting that money? Where, where is it taken? Huh? Where is it taken? Where is it thrown? And there you, you are defiled. Hello? 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 Jesus said, yes, the poor you will remain with. Eh? <laughs> I'm not saying you to, if you are to help, ask God, should I? Nyambe. If you are to give, don't get excited. Don't get excited. Watch what God has put in your hands. Am I talking to someone? I know some people are like, ah, you know, I thought by doing this, God is going to bless me. It doesn't depend on that. God bless you according to your obedience. Not according to your excitement. Man of God, don't die for people. Yes. Don't be a worship of people. Consecrate yourself. You may, not do, you may not sit with them in an office. But they will be blessed. Because you intercede for them. Without them defiling you. Are you getting me? That's why I don't want to tell me where your problem. If the Holy Spirit has not told me your problem. Then I don't need to know it. If the Holy Spirit not told me your disease, then I don't need to know it. When you come for prayer, I don't need to ask you. I know your sickness, which you may not know. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Men of God and women of God here. Don't waste your time. You are not there. You are not the advisor. You are not the Holy Spirit. You are not the counselor. Don't say, I'm counseling them. The counselor is the Holy Spirit. Not you. Not you. Those people that I told my wife recently and she didn't believe me. Some years back. I don't know, honey. Everyone you see who is looking for deliverance because they are in disobedience. She said, No, I said, Yes. Every Christian who still seeks deliverance and not delivered, there is a disobedience somewhere in their lives. Uh -huh. You are so quiet and you are offended. You are offended. Any Christian who has confessed Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior and you still look for deliverance, there is a, there is a disobedience somewhere. There is a disobedience in your life. What did you do to God not to deliver you? Did you kill Jesus? Now why are you not delivered? What are you? Where is it after 10 years you are still possessed by demons because there is a disobedience in your life? That's why I told my wife, honey, those people there is a disobedience in their life. She said to me, how do you know? I told her because I'm a former witch. I know 
Manyi. How Christian could remain in bondage Butia, aba when we could come kusire. to a church? We could look those in disobedience. How do you know they are disobedience? They are half naked in the spirit. So when you look at them from here down, they are naked. And that when you send demons to them, they tie their feet. No, and they remain in church. Some are leading praise and worship. Other the pastors, but in disobedience, they don't have a garment. Because when they disobeyed, when they sinned, they handed over their garment to a demon. Sin. Meaning you are handing over your garment. And in that garment, you received it the day you gave your life to Jesus. That garment is so precious, so useful in the spirit that demons and witches want it to have it. Because when they get it, then they can cover themselves that you cannot attack them. But they can't produce that garment. They get it from a believer. They come to a believer. When you sin, you hand over that garment to a demon. And that demon will keep calling other demons and reveals them where your nakedness is. And the nakedness has come to the extent that it has also moved in the physical. And now you see people in church they begin getting naked. The skirt moves from here to here to here, to here. To here. And that's pastor's wife. That's worship leader. Then the, the jeans become tighter. They show their bodies because they're already naked in the spirit. So they're now expressing how naked they in the spirit. And they say, no, God looks at the spirit. He doesn't look at the body. Because they're already naked. You see that in our churches. How pastors' wives come, the shape of their body seen, and even the man of God begin to change. Slim feet, the, the muscles, the jeans, because they are already naked in the spirit. Disobedience. Oh, Jim. Disobedience. Oh, Jim. Man of God. Please, please play for me. They are bewitching me. The witchcraft can only come to you through nakedness. Oh, Bulogo. Busobola kutuka koko ita muwerere wo. You can pray tongues, Zagada, Kukupu, and you pray all. No Sabazona. But demons see you are naked. Na inga diamonds zira boli wereere. I have seen demons. Ndabie diamondi molesting sexually people who are on the the, pul the pulpit. While they are ministering, a demon is molesting them. Diamondi eri mukuba kozesa. Because they are naked. They are unclean. Hey, you are so quiet this, this evening. Yes. 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 You carried their disobedience. You've maintained their, you are sustaining their disobedience. Though you confess you're Christian, but you are still living in disobedience. Yeah, but Pastor, why am I not delivered? Is God not powerful? God is mighty. God is able. God loves you. But your part is obedience. Your part is obedience. Forget about learning 
Big demons, small demons, large demons, small white demons, long demons. Forget about that. Forget about these jargons of some prophets. Ask God where is the disobedience? You know how many people want God to bless a marriage which God did not initiate? They just went for a man. Fornicated for three years. God took it. And they say we are married. And they say we are married. And you say what? You're married? Hey, what God has put together. Has God put together? But God, God cleanse, God take it. God, please bless this marriage. Pastor, pray for my marriage. Where did it come from? Some of your marriages came from a sorcerer. Yeah, came from a sorcerer. Came from an evil altar. The man came from an evil altar. The woman came from an evil altar. And that's where it came from. And you're asking the man of God to bless that which came from the darkness. You may have gone without knowledge. But I know those who went willfully. Even after being a Christian. After even knowing the truth. They still went to a sorcerer. Because they didn't want to obey God. Hey. They said, okay, but God will bless. God will forgive. There is something I want to deal with today. The disobedience. Obujemu. The disobedience. Obujemu. Because disobedience. Obujemu. According to the to, to scripture. It is a spirit of adultery. Disobedience. Obujemu. Disobedience is the speed of adultery. You have gone to another God. We're going to be open these three days. We're not going to preach. We're going to let the Holy Spirit search us. Where is the disobedience? Where is the disobedience in the land? Where is the rebellion in my body? In my heart. Where is it? And the way out is not quoting scriptures to God. God, you said. We shall be heads, but not tails. Yes, he said. But what was the condition? If you obey, if you obey, if you diligently follow the voice of the Lord, you shall be heads, not tails. Forget about the confession. Put us, don't quote, don't quote that to me. Ah, but, but the Bible says, Bible <laughs> what's the condition? There is no blessing without a condition. Amen. You better go and tell that brother. Thank you so much for buying me cosmetics and lipstick and cutex. But we are fornicating. I want to leave this disobedience. I want to leave this disobedience. I want to leave this. I want to be where God wants me. One act of obedience does not only deliver you, it delivers your generation. One man that has obeyed God, God can use him mightily to turn a nation. 
One man that has obeyed God. That one man living in obedience will change communities. Because God will give him power to dislodge principalities and break down strong men. Obedience is the best and the more powerful act of spiritual affair. Your obedience will judge the demons of your ancestors, not shouting at them. One act of obedience will judge the strong man of your clan, and many will be set free. Hello? Hello? Now look at this. Look at this. Open your Bible, the book of Deuteronomy. There. Sorry, Numbers. We all know that scripture. Numbers 26, 39. Numbers 26, 39. Look at this. So, no, no, not Numbers, Leviticus. I'm sorry. Leviticus. But even if I said numbers, you don't read your Bibles. You would say it's the man of God is right. <laughs> so I just said it. It must be there. Maybe that page was pulled out of my book. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Are we there? We Are we there? We You didn't say amen. Timugambi amen. Open. What does it say? Let's start from verse 38. And you shall perish among the nations and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. Have you heard that? Leviticus. What does it say? 38. You shall perish among the nations and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And those of you who are left shall rot away in your enemies' land because of their iniquities and also because of the iniquities of their fathers they shall rot away like them. Can I have the scripture here, please? Leviticus chapter 26, verse 38 39. You shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And those of you who are left shall rot away in your enemy's land because of their iniquity. And also because of the iniquities of their fathers. They shall rot away like them. Verse 40. If, but some say, but if. Na ye. I, I, I don't hear it. But what? Na but if na ye. they confess their iniquity. Hello? If they do what? They confess their iniquity. And Era. the iniquity of their fathers no, in their treasury that they committed against me. And also walk against me. And also in walking contrary to me. Contrary to me. Can I request the people sitting on that table? Can you please be away from that table and leave only who operates that machine? And you people with your iniquities, please move away. I'm sorry. Please move away. 
This is serious business. And I want to warn young people, don't play, this is not the church you've been playing in. You are used to playing church. This is a serious matter. Save yourself and don't play games. There are two things that can happen here which I will not tell you. The good and the bad. Watch what you do in this house. It's not a time of laughing and I'm not laughing. I'm serious. We are dealing with lives and God's people. These are God's people. You must honor them and give them what is possible. What you are paid to do. That they committed against me and also in walking contrary to me. So that I walked contrary to them and brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised heart is humbled, and they make amends for their iniquity. Then I will remember my covenant with Jacob. I will remember my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham. And, and land. Do you see the journey? I'll remember my covenant. Ladies and gentlemen, for the deliverance of our nation, we don't need a parliament legislation. We don't need demonstrations. We don't need to lobby members of parliament who are most of them witches. We need to turn to God and confess our iniquity and God will heal heal the land. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, you don't expect those people in parliament to humble themselves. They are witches. They sleep in shrines. Each of them has a witch doctor. You don't expect them to repent. Don't expect them. The speakers, the words, don't expect them to repent. In their witchcraft, they will keep putting spells on people and you don't expect to, to go and lobby them let the sword of the Lord lobby them you deal with the, your iniquity the iniquity of your fathers and God will heal the land God will heal the land Men of God, stop fornicating with politicians. Stop thinking because this man, now you go to his office, that now you're a man of God. Stop eating their money. Stop, refuse their envelopes. They are defiling you. Stop eating on their altars. Stop going to their parties. If they want you, let them come on the altar. They can't summon me. Oh, he's a big man, needs in your office. If he's who, whoever he is, come to the altar. Meet me at the consecration center. Get a, get a, get a tent. Come and come. Whether you are who or you are with who, you are with who. Come to the camp. Leave your bodyguards there. I will not come to your office. God did not call me to your office. Many come and say, ah, tell him so and so needs you. I'm here. And I tell my team, tell them I'm not there. Oh, this is a big man. Big man. Bigger than Jesus. Are you bigger than Jesus? Oh, the big man is here. Pastor James. I tell my team, I will not see them. Oh, but, but I will not see him. Has he been through consecration? No. Has he been on the altar? No. Is he part of the consecration? No. Go back. But he came from America. I don't care. I don't care. Wherever you came from. 
have you been because if you can't come to the altar you can't remove me from the altar because you are honorable and I come to your office where you have your shrine where you've been fornicating where you have your witchcraft and you bring me there if you are who you come to the altar you come to the altar I don't care the mansion you have pick a tent pick a tent put it here wait until you get the opportunity God to touch you there is no no one here will be special no one here will be special on this ground whether you are bishop of bishops whether you are president of presidents you are, whether you are super emeritus I don't care you have come to go to touch you go through cleansing go through cleansing God will touch you I may not even know you came go through cleansing go through repentance go through cleansing go touch you pack your bags and go you didn't come for me and let me announce this here to those people in big offices who have been calling me to go there sir I will not come I will not come I'm, I'm, I'm a stubborn prophet I will not come even if we send your bodyguards with guns I will not come if you drag me by force you can't force my mouth to pray you can attack me by force. I'll open my mouth and I'll speak a curse. And you have forced me. You can't summon a man of God to leave God's people here to drive all the way to your office because you are a high man. High above God everyone here we are sons of God no ranks no ranks hello hello no ranks and you tell me you know we have intelligence that you need security why do you care I have security from heaven if I perish I perish how do you bring a bodyguard to me with an empty brain with little anointing and they guard the anointing because they have empty brain they only have muscles and guns they don't, cannot even discern one demon my enemy is not a bullet my enemy is a demon my enemy is a demon not, not a bullet you can shoot and the bullet can, will not touch me yes but the demon will touch me if I don't consecrate myself if I'm not right with God You know, the, you know, they say, you know, we have intelligence. Eh? You know, them, some people came there. You listen, what I'm not against security. No. When people take care of this place, what I'm talking about, you can't move me from the altar by scaring me that I'm going to die. By the way, dying, I'm praying for it. I want to. Yes. It's better. That's why I'm, I'm preaching. That I may have a good life. In eternal life. Yeah. To die is to gain. I have had visions of heaven. There is nothing good I want on this earth. I have had visions of heaven. And I have begged God several times not to let me return. And he tells me go back. One day I was preaching in a meeting and I died. Who were in that meeting? I fell dead in the meeting. The Lord took me and told me go back. I said no. No. 
I fell dead in the meeting. Na fall, and to me that was a joy. Sanyo. And I believe I will die Nzizikiriza. amid the revival. I will preach, Nzizikiriza. sit down, Ntulewa and die. Nfe. You never see me sick. The man of God is sick. Yalu He's about, ade, no, no. I will preach, Nzizikiriza. and I say my last sermon. And I tell you goodbye. Sit down, Ntule. I go to heaven. Now you're saying I buy it. What are you buying me? What are you buying? I'll be in a move of God. And I'll be translated. Maybe, maybe soon. Maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. So when you tell me, oh, you know, what am I, what are you going to give me? that the devil did not give me when I was serving him money, Sente, wealth bugaga, power, mani, nations mawanga. what are you going to give me? nothing, nothing. nothing. I left that to serve Jesus I left that to serve Jesus and you can't Jesus. take me back to serve that which is rubbish you can't. Tosobola. Eh? Everyone here. Be on the altar. There is no one special. There is no one special. That's why we don't say, oh, this is a great man of God. That's why we don't have international guest preachers. No one of the ministers has a special invitation. I just say, Brother Moses, are you coming? Oja. Yes, Pastor, I'm coming. He comes. Why? We don't want anyone to be the center of such a gathering. We don't have... Yeah. Someone is saying, why don't now, when now all those are there, why don't you bring this man and this man? Because they, 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 they understand nations. Ah, they understand nations. They don't understand consecration. They are preachers. They have been prostituting themselves in nations. One altar to another altar. Man of God, man of God. They have not consecrated the nation. And I hear many of them have been lying. When I go to the nation, people ask me things that have not happened. In it. They tell us there is this in Uganda. I say, but I have not seen that. No, oh, they told me, oh, Uganda. this revival in Uganda, so where is it? No, 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 no. Where is it? Oh, no, no, no. they told us, but the man told us that no, no, no. every day no, no, no. he sits 10,000 people and said, where are they? No, 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 no. I tell them, the men are lying. No, no, no. It's not there. No, no, no. It's not there. No, no, no. Consecrate. No, no, no. If they do what? If they confess, if they do what? He didn't say if the people confess and the pastor preaches. They didn't say if the people confess and the pastor eats. He said if they, all of them, confess their iniquities and the iniquities of their fathers. Then I will remember the covenant. Hello? Hello? We are here Tuliwano. three nights. Starting tonight. Tomorrow. Encha. Until the third day. Pakolo, Doing what? Confession. Kwa Let me tell you this. Chino. What's going to happen? If we maintain the confession, our God will respond. And our nations will see a move of God. And listen, the days of conferences have ended. The days of importing men of God have ended. The days of wasting God's money on 
Meetings that do not benefit nations have ended. What we are in is to call nations to call people for days of consecrating themselves. For days of confession. Month of confession. Please forget about advertising. Forget about what publicity. Big two, three, four people that believe in you. In a room. In a place. Go in confession. You see the city gather where you are. You see a city gather where you are. Let me tell you. When we got this land. Me. Pastor Henry. Derek. Derek, Gloria, Gloria. We, we just decided be coming here 6 a.m. every day. We didn't advertise anything. A few days here. See how God has brought people here. No poster, no advertising, no nothing. I just told them let's be here every morning. I could sit here. Pastor Henry sits there. Gloria sits there. Derek sits down there. Read the Bible to the land. I was worshiping with the land. And God just began telling us what we were going to do. If just five people, four people, through their commitment in confession, nations can gather in a remote place like this. How about the 50 of you just commit in covenant to do confession for 50 days for your nation and see what will happen to your land. I challenge you don't look for big meetings. Get a few of you where you are. Start the confession. Start the confession. Don't even tell your church. Don't even bring the church members. Just get covenant brothers. Covenant sisters. Go in confession. People you trust. People you know they are clean. People you know their hearts are okay. Not people who are excited. But no bodies that will be committed whether it rains or not. One day I was going to pick Derek somewhere. We are coming to the center. And it was raining in the morning. And he said, Daddy, today I failed to come. I said, I'm coming for you. Because we are in covenant. You have to bear the mountain. I drove. And I when, when I was driving, I said, my God, this boy every morning comes from this way. He go through swamps, hills, to come in the the morning, my God, this is a sacrifice. And I realized if you are few, you can keep the covenant. Don't make me shout. If you are few, the covenant remains pure. When many come, when you came all of you we've missed our fellowship we are busy attending to you we are waiting for you to go we return to the covenant I speak the truth <laughs> yes when you are few you maintain the sanctity of the covenant you may not pray long hours we are just coming together I remember we came together and every the first week we are reading the book of Nehemiah not praying we do, we do personal worship we meet in the tower there we read the book of Nehemiah we go while they were building this wall we read the book of Nehemiah as the builders are building the wall until they finish the wall just for us we are reading the Bible if you are few you keep the sanctity of the covenant you are committed to one another that day I would have driven here and prayed but I knew if one of us is not here I could leave home 
Drive the other part of the city. Be Gloria. Come this part. That they went pick Derek. Come for our covenant. Our unprayer. And worship. And minister to the land. And within days, the Lord said, The camp will be here. We said, Lord, will the people be here? He said, They will. Have they come? Are they here? Are they camping? Did we advertise? Did we pay anyone? Did we send transport? No. Consecrated ourselves. Just the five of us. Just here. And it was done. Just consecrated ourselves. This thing was built in ten days. Why? Consecrate yourself. The, the, the few you are the more connected you remain and the more committed you are don't go for the big things don't go for the masses pick a few brothers covenant with them in a small place maintain your covenant go deeper in your personal consecration maintain your Consecration. And wait for what God will do for your family, for your city, and for your generation. Did, I, did you hear me? You need to be few. Pastor, morning glory. You need the general morning glory and this sacred morning glory. You need the, the bigger meeting, let it be there. But get the few which you consecrate yourself. The few of you. Like the daughters of Zion, my wife. She has a small group. They consecrate themselves. God reveals them what he's going to do. I have my group. We consecrate yourselves. I pray that one of these days God will allow me to accept a few of you to be part of this small group. We eat together when we were here. We eat what we can afford. We were eating pancakes and popcorns. Popcorn. <laughs> Not so that was our food. We come, I come with pancakes which we will eat in the morning and we we'll eat for lunch as we consecrate ourselves. And we share the pancakes. Now we miss it. Now we have you people taking care of me, giving me food, drinks. But that time, we didn't have anyone to feed us. We all only had cakes and popcorns. Sometimes we forget to bring them. Because no lady was there taking care of us. Hello? Hello? Find a bush which God has given you. Get a small group. Consecrate yourself. Even if you are three. Or five. Hello? Hello? Don't make a big group. Hello? Hello? Find a small group. Do confession. Day and night. The sins of the land. The sins of the people. The sins of the generation. Layer by layer. Because iniquity, iniquity is in layers. When we are starting confession here, when we started our covenant walk with this, people, it was not for a meeting. No. Pastor, am I right? In our mind, it was not about a meeting. We didn't even expect the camp to be here. It was not for a conference. No, we were just coming to the land. We didn't know what God wanted to do. But God wanted this meeting to be here. Now he's asking us the 10,000 to be here. We will not advertise. We will consecrate ourselves. Hello? Wait and see. 
I love demonstrating things. My team at church. I have you have seen the result of consecration. Who are there in those early days before the bigger meetings? Who used to come those nights at Lugala? No, not this crusade. When we come in the night alone, he you know, used to be there. Those nights when we, who were Pastor Henry? No, those nights we come at 2 a.m. We didn't do this because we wanted people to come. Even we didn't expect. We just began the consecration. A small group of us in church. These young people. At 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Come on the carpet for them. Wait upon the Lord. And you have seen what comes out of consecration I have demonstrated to you if a man of God consecrates himself I didn't have to go to nations and beg for donations no all I had to consecrate myself and God began opening so I've demonstrated to you ministers of God what comes from consecration. Now I want to demonstrate to you after the two nights, the next two nights of God, days of confession and you see what's going to happen to your life to your church to your city to your, city, to your nation then you will believe that confession works. You will believe by the way Starting tomorrow, when we come at five, all we will do from five to seven, confession. The next day, on Tuesday, 24 hours, confession. And see what will happen. Hmm? Some of you, don't wait for Tuesday. Starting tomorrow, or tonight, camp in the house. Camp in the house. Even tonight, we are moving those chairs. Even this night, camp in the house. In confession. Don't tell God what you want Him to do. Just ask, what do you want me to confess? What convicts you? You have your hotel. You have your house. Why don't you leave them for two days? Why don't you leave your bed for two days? And be in confession. Why don't you save that money you're paying the hotel for these two nights? Why don't you check out today? <laughs> Why don't you check out today? And, and camp. Until you leave. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Why don't you tell your boss at work? Sir, I have an emergency. I am going for consecration. And he tells you, Nagamba. you lose the job. You say, it's okay, sir. This is, this is for my life. This is for my generation. This is for my people. This is for my nation. After the two days, he will beg you to be back at work. Because what you are doing is good for them. Yes. Tell your husband, honey, I'm going for consecration. When he tells you, don't come back. Say, it's okay, honey. But you know I am there. This is life and death. You can stay with that man and remain in your poverty and your children are wasted. But if you take this two days to humble yourself before the Lord in confession, that man will be saved, your children will be saved, your generation will be saved. If two days will cause you to lose your marriage. That marriage was not yours. If just staying for two days in consecration, that man will divorce you. Let him go. Yeah, two days. 
two days. That woman let her go. Tell them it's okay. It's okay. Let me remain in consecration. If you are mine, you will return. If you are not mine, God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. If that job is of God, you will keep it. Now you are testing it. Hello? Hello? Now you are testing it. You are saying, I am consecrating myself. Let me say this. In the days of Ezra, for them to be delivered from exile, Ezra called the people for a day of confession. Remember that? Look at Ezra chapter 10. Ezra Are you there? Chapter 10 verse 1. When, while Ezra prayed and made confession weeping and casting himself down before the house of God a very great assembly of men women and children gathered to him out of Israel for the people wept bitterly are you there? and Shekaniah the son of Jehul of the sons of Elam addressed Ezra. We have broken faith with our God and have married foreign women from the peoples of the land. But even now there is hope for Israel in spite of this. Therefore let us make covenant with our God to put away all these wives and their children according to the counsel of my Lord and of those who tremble at the commandment of our God let it be done according to the law arise for it is your task and we are with you be strong and do it. Then Ezra arose and made the leading priests and Levites and all Israel take an oath and they would do as been said so they took the oath. Now you can go down but let me go to verse 9. Then all men of Judah and Benjamin assembled at Jerusalem within the three days it was the ninth month on the 20th day of the month and all the people sat in the open square before the house of God trembling because of this matter and because of the heavy rain <laughs> <laughs> hey, because of what? They spent three days in the open square confessing, and it was raining. <laughs> no wonder it's raining. But thank God it's not an open square. <laughs> Three days, three nights, they have gathered and they were trembling <sighs> because it's raining. They are confessing. Eh? Because of what? Because of the heavy what? Because of the heavy rain. Give us the next verse, verse 10. And Ezra the priest stood up and said to them, you have broken faith and married foreign women and so increased the guilt of Israel. So what is the way out? What's the way out? 
Pastors, what's the way out? Now then, make confession to the Lord, the God of your fathers, and do his will. Separate yourselves from the peoples of the land, from the foreign wives. Verse 12. Then all the assembly answered with a loud voice, it is so we must do as you have said. Then confession. Confession. Their sins their iniquity, the iniquity of their fathers, the iniquity of their ancestors. What do you see today in the church? You see the, the issue of, of, of perversion, the issue of homosexuality in the church. It has not said today. It is in our bloodline. It is in our father's bloodline. It has been there since years. From the days when they were male prostitutes in the temple in the days of Solomon and the kings that came after. You go and read your Bible. There was even a booth a room in the temple for male prostitutes in the house of God. It's in the bloodlines. You don't need to pass laws. You don't need to, you don't need, you need to do confession. You need to do confession. When you hear that, you don't point fingers. You need to do confession. Don't judge any man. Don't go to courts. Don't go to radios. Don't go to, radios. Don't go to TV. Go to confession. Call the church to confession. Gather the people and say, let us confess. Let us repent. Don't accuse a man. It's not a man. It's in the land. It's in the land. It's the spirit from our kings. Our kings were in that spirit. As a tribe, you know what our kings were doing with the young boys. It was in our kings. It is in our blood. As Baganda, we need to do with it from the blood. Yes. You need to deal with it now. And the, the, those that do not know God cannot. The reason these things come to you is but God. I didn't want to know them. Suddenly they bring the report. Suddenly they tell me. Because God knows you have the solution of confession. You have the solution. You have the platform to call a nation to repentance. You have the platform. You have the ability. You have the voice. That's why you have known all the things that you may call a nation to repentance. That you may call the nation to confession. The small us, like me, who don't have a big platforms we are calling the few we can call so let's go in Gayaza and do confession and do confession and do confession confession the bloodshed if you investigate your bloodline, you'll find the things you are dealing with in your children there. What you think is new, it's not new. That sin, that habit, that perversion is not new to your child. It has been there and he confessed. That perversion has been there many generations of women going to women of men going to boys it has been there 
And God wants you to deal with it through confession. Not through bitterness. Not through offense. It's time to tell that person you have won. I'm, I have lost. This is fire. But you, you go in confession. And tell God it's not him, it's not her, it's us. Forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy. It's not him, it's us. We have sinned. We have buried foreign women. We have molested boys. We have raped girls. We have, Lord. We have done it. We have, Lord. People say that the message of repentance, people do not come. Have they not come? Forget about the lie that is, you know, you need to preach good messages. Do what God has told you to do. Lead a nation in repentance. Forget about what they tell you. You know, you need to be, make it simple. Then they will come to you. Forget about that lie. You can say the truth. And many have been looking for the truth. Many have been waiting for a voice that calls them to repentance, to confession. They are there out there. They are tired of the gospel that deceives them. They are tired of the gospel that is not the truth. And they are waiting for one who can say, let's come and harm ourselves. Let's come and harm ourselves. They are not coming for good sound, good screen, tired. They are coming for God. And they are saying, we are tired. Some have said confession. Say confession. Ezra for three days. So I think we'd better even go to the until Friday. Doing confession. Man of God, my ticket. Don't tell me about your ticket. You want to go back to your bondage? If the Lord wants to stand another five days, forget about your ticket. He owns silver and gold. I'm disturbing some people. Because you have you've put God on a timetable. If he doesn't come after two days, forget. No, no, no. You tell God if you want me to stay, if you want me to stay on the hill for one month, it's okay. Until it's sorted out. Until this issue is sorted out. Until my nation is free. Until I know what to do for South Africa. Until I know what to do for Botswana. I don't just came. I didn't come here as a tourist. I didn't come for a tour. I didn't come as a. I didn't come for a tour. There's nothing to tour in Uganda. I came for God. If I've not seen Him, I will stay. Did you come for vacation? You came for a tour? What do you come to see? What do you come to see? Why do you come to this bush to see? You came to see God. You came to see God. If that tent is hindering you to see God, tie it down and sit in the bush and sit in the ground. They say, God, I'm, I'm going to do crazy things because I'm desperate to see your hand not only for me, for my generation. I don't want to leave this generation the way I found it. I don't want to leave this generation the way I found it. No. No, I need to leave a change generation that iniquity that has oppressed me will not oppress my children. The iniquity that scattered my father's house will not scatter my generation, will not scatter my children. No, no, I have seen what means 
to be landless when your ancestor, when your father, your grandfather owned hills and hills of land. I have been in that. I've been just saying that was our land. That was, our, that was my father, that was my ancestor. But nothing. Even a small plot, someone is, is, is chasing you. And I don't want my children to be vagabond. Me and my father's house, we have been scattered in many nations. We just carry a name. We carry a name that we own nothing because of the iniquity of our fathers. And now we are back in the land of our fathers. And what we are doing is confession. Confession. Because every unconfessed seed is illegal right for a curse. Every unconfessed seed is illegal right for a curse. The devil has a right to put a curse upon you because of the unconfessed sin, unconfessed iniquity. Regardless of how many years we've been in church. Every unconfessed sin, unconfessed iniquity is illegal right for a curse to rest upon you and a curse is comes for generations. When it lands, it finishes a cycle of four generations. Oh, my God. Do I have a mother here? Nina. Do I have mothers here? Mama, wano. Do you like what you see in your children? Do you like what you see in your sons? They better call you mad. But stay in the dust. Confessing. Until you've saved a generation. Confessing. Until you've saved your people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the coming day. Is, time is not our issue. We don't have a timetable. We we'll in the presence of God. If two people remain, maybe that's what God wants. Someone say confession. Say confession. Say almighty God. I stand before you. Convict me. The unconfessed iniquities. That are in my blood. The unconfessed sins. That are in the air. The unconfessed iniquities. That are in our bloodline. That are in my family. In the name of Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. My God and my Father. Let your word come to me. Let your spirit come to me. To convict me. Of sin. Of sin. Convict us Lord. Convict us Lord. Convict us as mothers. The sons of my father. The women of my bloodline. Convict me today. In the name of Jesus. Father God. They harden the heart. Let them break now. In the name of Jesus. I seek brokenness. Rikanda brodaya. Zaga de gede broya. Zikara de kazia. Shikara do shitaya. Lift your voice now. And look God Almighty. Let him now convict you. The Holy Spirit. Jesus said he shall convict but he shall guide in spirit and truth. That's Holy Spirit. Come today. The spirit of repentance as we stand in confession. Church, I don't hear you. My father, my God, I hereby confess the pornography in my bloodline from my ancestors, the kind of pornography of my ancestors, King of Glory, I confess as sin and I renounce it. The adultery, which is polygamy in my bloodline, I confess it as sin, as sin. Ricardosha, Zaga de Gedea, Nicota Brodadea, Ricada de Gadea, Jagada de Ricara Baba Baria, who is doing confession? Who 
who is doing confession, who is falling before God, who is open your mouth and say, Lord, I have come to understand the sin of my people, the sin in me, the sin in the land, the iniquity, the distortion, the transgressions. The land has sinned. We have sinned, King of Glory. We have done what's evil as a nation, as a generation, as a people. And now, and now, me. I come to confess, to confess, to confess. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Let your heart, let your heart be broken. Break before God. Come before God, come before God, come before God in confession, in confession, in confession, renounce, 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 renounce and seek mercy, renounce and seek mercy, renounce and seek mercy. The God of mercy, Confess and seek mercy today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, convict me to the level of my iniquity. My Father and my God, convict me to the level of my iniquity in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I ask for the spirit of repentance to come over me right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as I come before you today, Father, confessing my sin and the sin of my forefathers in my father's blood. I and in my mother's lineage, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, I ask you today, to, as I confess, to forgive my iniquity and the iniquity of all my ancestors. We have all sins against you, but today I stand, today I stand as one among them to repent for my entire ancestral line because we have committed, we have committed the sin of sexual immolarity, the sin of bestiality. And Lord, today, as I stand before you, I confess it, I repent. Renounce it. I seek for cleansing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, as I come before you today, I confess the sin, the sin of divorce, the sin of divorce, the sin of divorce. And Lord, I ask today, and Lord, I ask today that you forgive us. I renounce it, O oh God. I ask for cleansing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, my Father and my God. As I stand before you, I confess the sin of corruption. I confess the sin of corruption. I renounce it, O oh God. I seek cleansing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, as I stand before you, I confess uh, that we have profaned uh, that which is holy. We have done that which is not pleasing in your sight. The way we have dressed, the way we have pierced our bodies, the tattoos we put on our bodies. That Lord, today we confess it as sin. We confess it as sin, O oh God, and we renounce it, O oh God, and we seek cleansing. We seek cleansing by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, my Father and my God, I stand before you today. I confess the sin of accusing God, of accusing God, of criticizing God. And Lord, today I stand on my behalf and on behalf of my entire bloodline and on behalf of my mother's lineage. Today as I stand, I confess it as sin that we have criticized God. Father, today I confess it as sin. I renounce it and I ask for the cleansing through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. 
Rika da 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 ra ba 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 robo si aka de 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 mo ja tara ba ko si ala ba di 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 re si aka da 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 ra ba 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 ra di 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 ade je de 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 robo si aka da 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 ra ba 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 ra di 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 ade je de 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 re si ka da 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 ma sha ta ya ba di di ya my father my god today i confess the sin of prostitution i confess it oh god le ka da 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 ra ka di da 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 I renounce it, O oh God. I seek forgiveness and I seek cleansing through the blood of Jesus Christ. Mezia da 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 da. Ra ba 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 ba. Ya da 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 da. Ra ba 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 ba. Ra zi ga da 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 ma sha ta ra bo ko ra ba di da da. Re zi ga da 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 da. Ra ba 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 ba. Re zi ga da 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 ma sha ta ra bo ko ra ba ka di da 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 de. Re zi ga da 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 da. Rosi gada da 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 da, Rosi gada da da majatara makaya rabadi di dia. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, as I'm before you today, I ask O oh God, convict me, convict me to the level of iniquity in my bloodline. Convict me O oh God. Rosi gada da 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 da. Riba ba 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 ba. Ramanda la gadi da 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 de. Rosi gada la gada da 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 da. My Father, today I come before you. I confess. I confess. Homosexuality as a sin. I confess bisexuality as a sin. I confess bestiality as a sin. I confess pedophilia as a sin. I confess it today. Rigada da 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 da. I confess necrophilia as a sin today. And my Father, I ask today. That you forgive us, I renounce it, O oh God. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Reka da 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 da. Raba ba 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 malagadi da da je de de de. Nzika la ba ka da 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 da. Riba ba 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 ba. Ramanda la gadi da da je na 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 na. Nzika da 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 da. My Father and my God, as I come before you today, I confess disobedience, disobedience to your God, disobedience to your word, disobedience to authority, lack of submission, having a rebellious and independent spirit. Lord, I confess it today. Lord, I confess it today, and I renounce it, O God, and I renounce it, O God, and I renounce it, O God. I seek, I ask that you forgive, and I seek cleansing through the blood of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, my Father and my God, my Father and my God. God I appear before you today and I confess disobedience disobedience to your God disobedience to your word disobedience to authority lack of submission having a rebellious and an independent spirit Lord I confess it today I renounce it O King of glory I ask for forgiveness and I seek cleansing through the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Jesus Christ leka da 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 ra ba 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 la ka di da 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 je na 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 rezi aka da 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 mazika La ka da 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 da, my father and my God. Le zebeke te la makati la ba ka da 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 da. Zeke da 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 da. Ra ba 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 ba. Robozi ya ka da 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 da. Rezi ka da 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 ma shatara mo kora ba ka di di ya. My father and my God, I confess, I confess stealing, I confess fraud, I confess changing boundaries, I confess evading taxes, I confess lying of God, I confess it today as sin, I confess it today as sin, I confess it today as sin. And Lord, I renounce it, I renounce it, I re. Renounce it! I renounce it, and I ask for forgiveness, and I seek cleansing, cleansing through the blood of Jesus Christ. Ye ga da 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 da. Ra ba 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 la ga di di a de je de de de. Mezi ka da 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 da. Ra ba 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 ba. Robozi a ga da 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 da. Ra ba 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 ba. I confess bloodshed. I confess bloodshed. I confess bloodshed. Oh God. I confess bloodshed. I confess bloodshed. Oh God. I renounce it. I renounce it. I ask heavenly Father that you forgive us. That you forgive us. That you forgive us. And you cleanse me. 
I see cleansing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I confess bloodshed. I confess bloodshed. I renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I ask for forgiveness, for forgiveness, and I seek cleansing, cleansing in the precious blood of Jesus Christ my father and my God I confess abortion 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 I renounce it I renounce it I ask father that you forgive us that you forgive us and you cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ my father and my god i confess fornication my father and my god i confess pornography my father and my god i confess sexual perversion in any way my father and my god i have not used my body for your glory today I confess it oh God and I renounce it and I renounce it and I renounce it and I ask for forgiveness and I ask for forgiveness and I seek cleansing cleansing through the precious blood of Jesus Christ my father and my God I confess so sorry I confess so sorry I confess so sorry as sinner. I confess so sorry. I confess so sorry. I confess so sorry as sinner. I confess so sorry. I confess so sorry. I confess so sorry as sinner. I confess so sorry. I confess so sorry. I confess it tonight. I renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask Heavenly Father that you may forgive us. I ask 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 that you may forgive us and cleanse me in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. my father and my god i confess i confess polygamy i confess polygamy i confess polygamy i confess polygamy i renounce it i renounce it i renounce it i ask that you forgive us that you forgive us that you forgive us and you cleanse me in the blood of jesus christ and you cleanse me in the blood of jesus christ i I confess polygamy I confess polygamy I confess polygamy I confess polygamy and I renounce it I renounce it I ask my father for forgiveness and I seek cleansing by the blood of Jesus Christ I confess each and every form of adultery each and every form of adultery each and every form of adultery I renounce it. I renounce it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I ask Father that you forgive us, that you forgive us, that you forgive us and cleanse me, that you forgive us and cleanse me, that you forgive us and cleanse me, that you forgive us and cleanse me in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I confess the sin of idolatry. I confess the sin of idolatry. I confess the sin of idolatry. I confess the sin of idolatry in our bloodlines. In our bloodlines. And today I renounce each and every form of idolatry. Each and every form of idolatry. Each and every form of idolatry. Heavenly Father, I ask that you forgive us. I ask that you forgive us and
and cleanse me and cleanse me that you forgive us and you cleanse me that you forgive us and cleanse me in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I confess pride I confess pride I confess pride I confess pride I renounce each and every form of pride in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. I ask today that you forgive us, that you forgive us and cleanse me and cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I confess, oh God, self righteousness. I confess it, oh God. I renounce it. I seek forgiveness from you, Father. Cleanse me, cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I confess each and every form of gluttony. I renounce it, O God. I renounce it, O God. I renounce it, O God. Heavenly Father, I ask even today, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us from Abraham, from Adam up to the current bloodline. I ask today that you forgive us, forgive us and cleanse me forgive us and cleanse me in the name of our lord jesus christ I confess the seed of shedding innocent blood. I confess it today, oh God. I renounce it. Each and every form of shedding of innocent blood. My heavenly Father, forgive us. Forgive our bloodlines. Forgive our bloodlines. And cleanse me. I confess, I confess a sin, the shedding of innocent blood. I confess mother, I confess mother, I confess the shedding of blood. I confess mother, I confess the shedding of blood. I renounce it tonight, oh God. I renounce it tonight, oh God. My father and my God, forgive us and cleanse me in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I confess witchcraft. I confess witchcraft. I confess worshiping of the moon god. Each and every form of profane worship to other gods. When we offered sacrifices to other gods. Lord, I confess it today. Lord, I confess it today. Lord, I renounce it. Lord, I renounce it. I ask for forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness. My heavenly father. I stand in the gap. I ask for forgiveness. I seek cleansing through the precious blood. Of Jesus Christ, you got that. 
I confess today, oh God, we have worshipped the moon God. We have worshipped the stars. We have worshipped the sun. Each and every form of profane worship. Forgive us, O God. Likaya madeda deda. Likaya magadeda deda. Likaya magadeda deda 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 deda. And cleanse me, cleanse me, cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Ela gada da 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 da. I confess rebellion. From the time of Adam up to this generation, in my father's house, in my mother's lineage, I confess rebellion. I confess rebellion. I confess rebellion. I renounce it, O God. I renounce it, O God. I renounce it, O God. I ask that you forgive us. I ask that you forgive us and that you cleanse me. I confess bitterness. I confess bitterness so father I confess it tonight I confess each and every form of bitterness I confess jealousy I renounce it tonight oh God I renounce it tonight oh God I ask that you forgive us father and that you cleanse me Convict me, O God. Convict me, O God. Take me deep and conviction. To the level of my iniquity. Convict me, spirit of the living God. I confess jealousy. I confess bitterness. I confess anger. I confess profane worship. I confess adultery. I confess lust. I confess greed. I confess bloodshed. I confess abortion. I confess child abuse. I confess them, Lord. I confess them, Lord. I confess them, Lord. I confess profane worship. I confess idolatry. I confess sorcery. Lord God Almighty. I renounce them today. I confess profane marriages. I confess profane marriages. Marriage to goats. Marriages to trees. Marriages to demons. I confess. Lord. I confess Lord I confess Lord today in the name of Jesus forgive us Lord forgive me Lord for I renounce profane worship I renounce profane worship I renounce profane worship I renounce blood sacrifice evil covenant satanic vows 
I confess today in any way I agreed with demons in any way I agreed with demons in any vow I vowed with demons in any way I agreed with Satan I confess pride I confess pride I confess stubbornness I confess stubbornness being stubborn Lord, being unrepentant being arrogant I confess fantasy I confess fantasy I confess fantasy evil imagination evil thoughts unclean words unclean thoughts unclean thoughts I confess unbelief I confess unbelief I confess unbelief in the name of Jesus my prophets, my priests have all worshipped that which not view the foreign gods, imported gods, gods of the waters I confess Lord God I repent the sacrifices that was given to the devil by me my father my ancestors my mother Lord God I renounce our sacrifices Father God I renounce reach your mothers Reach your mothers, reach your sex. I renounce it. I renounce them. I renounce them. Have mercy. I turn to you. I turn to you. I turn from fornication. I turn from adultery. I turn from idolatry. I turn from greed. I turn from profane worship. I turn from marriages. I turn, I turn, I turn. I turn from corruption. I turn from stealing. I turn from cheating. We turn as a nation. We turn as a church. We turn as a tribe. We turn as a people. We turn as a people. We turn as a people. We turn to Chuka. We turn to Chuka. We turn to Chuka. We turn to Chuka. We turn to Chuka from evil. Okuva Mubi. We turn to Chuka from greed. Okuva Mulu. We turn to Chuka from profane marriage. Okuva Mufumbo Buguia. We turn to Chuka from profane worship. Okuva Mukusinzo. As a nation, as a family, family as a person, Mountu, Father God, Tata Makama, we renounce evil. Twega no bubi, Almighty God, Katono we renounce the evil one. Twega no bubi, we turn to you. We turn to you. We turn to you. We turn to, you, we turn to, you, we turn to God. Our hope is I turn from evil. I turn from my wicked ways. We turn from our wicked ways. Lord, that which you call wicked ways, we ask to know them that we might turn away from them. We ask to know the wicked ways. Wicked ways in our marriages. Wicked ways in church. Wicked ways in our lives. Show us the wicked ways. Convict us the wicked ways that we turn to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's take our seats briefly. Let's turn our seat. Sit down. Take our seats.
tutule oh god oh god sorry I know what is challenging are the voices you will hear after. You hear men that will say you don't need confession. You hear many that will tell you the grace is sufficient. I know you hear many. I know you even people will pick and preach sermons. Until you don't do that repentance. Because Satan knows what confession can do. And the agents of Satan church who are on the old on the on the pulpit will come with convincing words to stop your repentance and give you false hopes. We will do our confession. And many of you will be healed. We will do our confession. And many of you will be delivered. And the nation will be delivered. Amen. Amen. We don't minister for people to like us. No. If you don't like what I say, as long as it's the truth, I'll keep saying it. I'll keep telling people to do it. If you don't like it, it's okay. But I'll keep putting things right before me. This is not for me. This is for my generation. And the generations to come. This is not for me. I don't strive to be called a man of God. Or to be called great. Or to have a name. Or to have a following. I am putting things right with God. For my generation. And the generations to come. I am not a preacher. That I am looking for a following. I am an intercessor. Amen. I'm an intercessor. My work is to be before the Lord. Do I have an intercessor here? Do I have an intercessor here? Okay. You are not for masses that they will, they will be called great because you, you are for God. You are for intercession. Amen. We're gonna to end tonight to having holy communion. After confession, we'll have holy communion. Amen. Amen. Are you ready for holy communion? Every communion we do is transaction. Make sure you are coming for communion in a worthy before God. Amen. Amen. I said consecration is personal. It's a, you alone. Amen. Amen. Oh, today we've not given our offering the whole day, not so. Let's give our offerings for tonight for this day if you have one. I will ask if you have a tithe and your tithe here you will come and stand here. Please forget, for, remember not to come with your shoes because we of the dirt behind there. So please you can come and stand before me here. And I receive your tithe. If your tithe in this ministry. If the Lord has told you to do so. Only the tithe has come and stand here.
here. The rest keep your offerings. And we'll, I receive, we receive the tithes on the altar. Amen. Amen. And we tithe because we love God. We tithe because God has asked us. Some of you go beyond even a tithe. Let's do it quickly because I have to I want to honor your tithe by receiving it. Heavenly Father, consecrate ourselves by removing what is not ours from ours. We bring this not because of, of commandment, but because of our commitment. Father, thank you for blessing us. And thank you for giving us the heart that acknowledge that you are the source of our provision. That's why we bring a tithe to celebrate that you've blessed us. We bring the tithe publicly as a testament to the people that God has blessed us. God be glorified. Be magnified in what we bring to you. That which we have remained with make it holy. Multiply it multiply and increase it in the name of Jesus Amen let me receive your tithe God bless you God bless you the Lord 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 God bless you. Come on, God bless you. Come on, God bless you. Come on, God bless you. God bless you. Come on, 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 God bless you. Lord God bless you. Come on, 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. Ministers, please remove this. I said we don't leave the things here. There's nothing we are advertising. When people, when people get healed. And they leave their crunches here, their wheelchairs. We don't show them. We don't publicize them. Keep them away. Other people leave them on the altar, but we don't do that. We don't leave those things on the altar of the Lord. They are not of God. We don't want to leave curses before, the, before God's people. Okay, please let's stand with our offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, the hands that are offering, mark them for greatness. Let every offering be holy and acceptable in your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. I hope ministers are standing on the basket so that there is direction. In the name of please walk quickly. Tambula mango. Walk quickly, please. Tambula mango. In Jesus' name. Molinaria is. We unlock the measures. You are destined for power and glory of infirmity it is because a soul is suffering from a condition today as the lord frees your soul from different prisons where your soul has been trapped we follow some of you wives you are not supposed to leave the marriage you are supposed to stay and intercede and disarm the altar and you shall recover all that which God destined for you.